Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Allison. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a back bend takeover and a back walkover on the floor. So, this is one of my first videos, as you guys might know. So this will be my first gymnastic tutorial, and I'll do way more than this. So if you guys want to see more, make sure to subscribe down below and click that notification bell. But right now, let's just get started. Let's go! The skills you'll need to do a back bend kickover or a back walkover is obviously a back bend. You won't need any other skills. For this, that's all you'll need. Make sure you're pretty strong though, but if you're not that strong, don't worry. We ha I'll teach you guys a couple exercises to get your arms stronger so you can pull your body all the way up. But let's just get started on the actual move. So the first step you wanna do, just like all gymnastics moves, skills that you practice, you want to stretch. So you want to stretch your wrist and your back. After you're all stretched, we're ready to get started. So you're gonna need um, a mat or a higher surface for this, so basically what you're gonna do is just grab a mat. The mat is helping you because you're getting an elevation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our feet on top of the mat, which is giving us a boost already so we can easily kick all the way over. Now, if this is still not high enough for you, again, you can use a couch or something higher, a bench, anything. You could just stack pillows on here or couch cushions, whatever you want, as long as it's elevated. So yeah. So just put your feet on here like this. You're gonna put your arms back, scoot your butt to the end of the mat, put your arms in and push up into a bridge. Now what you're gonna do is raise a leg up. And then you're just gonna help hold that there. This will get you lots of strength and will just get you used to the pose. Then you're gonna place it down. You can do the other leg if you want, if you don't have to. Then when you feel like you're ready, you can kick over. At first it'll be a little slow like how I just demonstrated, but after you get used to it, you'll go quicker. So I'm gonna show you more. <laughs> Another thing you can use to practice your backpack kickover is a yoga ball. Now, the reason why yoga ball is because it's like a ball, so you can roll over it. So, so you have your ball, you're gonna sit on it like this, put your legs out in front of you straight, arms up, bend back, and then just gonna push up just a bit like this and then you're gonna kick over. Now it is gonna be a little harder if your yoga ball's not as tall as you, but you'll get the hang of it. So back bend kickovers are a very easy gymnastics move. And really you just have to practice on these. I got mine in one day, so I'm pretty sure you guys can too. So that's basically all the tips I have for you guys. You guys just need to use the mat, kick over like that. So, now when attempting the actual move, you wanna be very slow. So when you attempt it first, I recommend doing a back bend kick over first instead of a back flop over. So I'll demonstrate. So, you're gonna do a back bend first. And then you're just gonna raise your leg up and then you're gonna do this leg that I'm jumping on to jump over. And so you'll be like that. So bounce on the leg that's not kicking over 
and bounce, and then it'll spring you all the way over, okay? So let me demonstrate that one more time. Move it back, leg up, spring, push. Okay? So now that I've showed you guys the back bend kick over, I'm gonna show you a back walk over. When doing a back walk over, you wanna put your leg, one the leg that's kicking over in front of the other. This is gonna make it a bit easier while you're still beginning. But as you get better, you can kick over with your um, legs right across from each other. But right now, we're gonna put one the kick over leg in front of us. Then, as we bend back, we're also raising this leg up. So watch. See, so it's like that, okay? Just like the other one, we're using the other leg to kick off of. But it's basically the same thing, we're just going all in one motion. And then as you get better, you can just put your legs like this and back. Okay guys, so that's it for the actual move. Now I'm gonna teach you guys how to get your arms a bit stronger so you can do this. So most of us know how to get our arms stronger. We do cool ups, push ups, and all that stuff. And that's basically what you wanna do. So if you don't get this in one day, every day, either before you start practicing the skill or just when you exercise, do a lot of, do some push ups and pull ups and if you don't have a pull up bar there are a lot of alternatives you can go under a table and I'll demonstrate hold on something you can grab on and then you just lay down if you and then or you could just hold the top like this and you pull up it's the same thing as doing actual pull-ups. So let me show you again. That's what you can do if you don't have your own pull-up bar. So that's how you strengthen your arms so you can do back then kick over. If you guys don't get this in your first day, you just have to keep trying it and eventually you'll get there. So um, that's it for today's video and I'll see you next time. Bye.